Hey guys, it's Amber. Um, I'm excited to show you a fun project today with the Big Shot. Um, we're gonna do some embossing, we're gonna do some cutting, and I wanted to uh, tease you with our new catalog. I can't show you the inside, but I can show you the front cover and the back cover. You guys will recognize the previous paper pumpkin right here. Um, remember, anyone who's placed a $50 order on my website will get a catalog. They are going out tomorrow. So if you put an order in today, you'll get a catalog out in the mail tomorrow, one of the new ones. And I will probably, uh, if I've never sent you a catalog before, I'll send you the current one too. They can both fit in our flat rate envelope. So you'll have the current one and the new one that will be current as of next week on Thursday. All right, so let's just start our project, guys, okay? So we are gonna start let me show you what stamp set we're, oh, Molly. Sorry, cat shadow. Uh, we are using the beautiful U stamp set. Now this does come with two boxes. Um, the one we are using says, uh, life may not be the party we had hoped for, but while we're here, we might as well dance. Okay, and actually that's the only stamping we're gonna do today. So, I have a piece of our Whisper white cardstock. And we are going to be stamping with our basic black archival stampin' pad. Okay, and you'll notice that this um, this stamp is one of the Red River ones. Okay, um, they called this is a clear stamp, so it's clear mount. Um, the other ones are photopolymer, that are the ones that are see-through. Um, so when you're going to cut something out, which we're going to do, you can tell with um, our Big Shot, it's usually easier to stamp and then cut, then you can line it up. Okay. So I'm just gonna hold that there for a second just to let the black sink in. The black does just take a second sometimes to dry. Oops, and I touched it with my thumb because you guys know I always do that. Let me move that out of the way um, and get my big shot out. So we're gonna do a few things with the big shot today. So um, the first thing we're gonna do is use our layering circles and do some cutting. Now let me get some trash. <laughs> let me look in my viewfinder really quickly and see what you guys are seeing with the big shot. Okay, let me move it a little bit closer this way. Okay, so we're gonna take what we just stamped and we're just gonna use the regular um, platform, okay? And I'm gonna put my piece of Whisper White in here and I'm going to use, this is kind of one of the medium circles, one of the medium layering circles. And I'm just going to put it around what I just stamped, okay? I should probably tell you, uh, last week's special was um, the ribbon. I know some of you put in orders, so when the new catalog comes out, you will be getting an order or getting a thank you, little thank you packet from me with some of the new ribbon in it, the new... Um, one that has the X on one side and the lines on the other. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Um, the special for this week, if you put in a $50 order on my hostess code, which I will have on the screen for you right here, okay? Um, if you put in a $50 order on that hostess code, I will be sending you some of the uh, rhinestone jewels, okay? Um, I used them on my live on Friday and so fun and the new configuration is a little different than the old one you don't get the strips anymore but they're still really pretty so anyone who puts in a $50 order on my hostess code this week which would be through oh what what the heck why don't we do it through May 31st okay um just to make it fair really Katya move sorry guys my helpers are just really stopping by today a lot um so this is one of the uh by the way one of the edges that's kind of ruched, I guess. I don't know what you, I know what this is called. Rippled, rippled, okay. So that's what I cut out with that. Next, we're gonna use our Big Shot for one more thing and it's not cutting. We're gonna do some embossing, okay. So I'm gonna be using one of the dynamic um, impressions embossing folders. So we are going to be embossing a piece of the silver foil and this is our embossing folder. It's the cable knit one. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I love this one. If you haven't, 
I love this one. It is going to be available still in the new catalog, um, which makes me so happy. So it's just a really thick embossing folder, okay? So um, if you have the old style plate on your Big Shot, you have to flip open your two things, okay? Um, if you have the new ones, you just use the bottom one, and then you put in your folder, and then you put in one of the sandwich plates, okay? And this is going to emboss it when you roll it through. If you can get it straight. If I can do this without hitting anything <laughs> on my table. Okay. Oh, gosh, I love, you guys, I love this one so much. Let me move this out of the way while I get it out of here. Ooh. Sorry. Come on, big shot. Go where I want you to go. Come on. All right, I'll just put you there for now. Worry about that later. Katya, get off the table. Okay, so look at how awesome that is with the silver foil, okay? This is amazing. Um, I am so excited. Okay, so <laughs> let me continue on now that I've geeked out over that. Okay, so this is our silver foil. I'm gonna put this aside for a second. We are going to be using a piece of our basic black cardstock. It has been cut at uh, eight and a half by five and a half, and I have scored it at four and a quarter. So it's just a regular, what do you call it? A four sized card. Oh my goodness. My kitty wants to be here with me. So my edges, when I scored it, it just got a little bit ragged. So I just usually just run my bone folder across it to kind of make it look a little better. Okay, so that's that. Now we're gonna take our silver foil piece and now when you do the dynamic impressions, when you emboss, you wanna use fast fuse or glue dots or um, stamp and dimensionals. Because of the impressions in the back, you wanna make sure it will really adhere. Now see, I just went too far. So I'm just gonna bend that over and get it back. Okay, okay and I like to, now this is just me, I like to put it on all four sides, okay? Um, when I do this embossing folder. Just my embossing folders that have the really thick impressions, okay? And I do one in the middle like that to make sure it really sticks, okay? Oops, that's gonna bother me. <sighs> I got black ink on my fingers now too. I made a little mess on it. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, this is gonna go on the front of our black sheet. Let me make sure I have it open the right direction. Right there. Okay. Line that up on there. And just put some gentle... Oh, I got that piece of sticky thing stuck on there. Did I move you really bad? Hold on. Sorry, you are hung above me, so... Okay, move that to the side. Oh, no. Okay, this is a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Whenever I do a dark base, I like to do a light colored one inside. I usually err on Whisper White, or um, if it's something I'm using very vanilla with, I'll put very vanilla inside. And I'm just gonna use my Fast Fuse. Just a couple strips on there. And just a reminder, if you guys have liked the Eastern Palace um, bundle, it's only available as a bundle till the 31st, okay? So if you really liked it, make sure you get it, okay? Um, the next thing we're gonna do is take our circles and attach those together. I'm just gonna take a couple strips on the back. Now, I am not putting a strip up here on the top because I'm gonna use my hole punch on that and I don't wanna punch through the um, snail. Just, I don't wanna dull my, my punch. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn that over so I don't smear it with my fingers. Cause we know I've done that before too. And here's my punch, just, this is just a punch from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be honest, I've had this one forever. And I'm gonna punch my hole in the top. It's just a regular hole punch, okay? Just a regular sized hole punch. Now I'm gonna use my paper snips and our uh, silver 1 8 inch ribbon. I'm gonna cut off about, I think I cut off about six inches last time. Last time. For my practice one, about six inches, okay? I'm gonna fold this over and pop that through that hole right there. 
and put these two ends through the loop. Okay, so now this looks like that. Okay, and if you want them a little shorter, you can make them a little shorter. Um, I just I cut six inches because it's a good amount to work with, and then just kind of cut it down like that. So there is that. So let me pull it tight so it doesn't come off. Okay. Now my snips away. We're gonna use some stamp and dimensionals on the back of this. All right, yes, and I'm putting four on. Oh, no, not five, not five, just four. Okay, one, two, three, four. I probably could have gotten away with three, but I like four. I like even numbers and things that go by fives. That, I just <laughs> admitted one of my really random things to you guys, but I love even numbers, and I love counting by fives. I'm really weird like that. Okay, and then just put this at kind of an angle, and we are done. That is our card. It's really shiny looking on the camera, but it's our card. All right, let me show you my other one. Ooh, because I run into everything at my desk. So there's my, ch my tester here. That help? There we go. It's not quite as shiny now see it looks a little different all right guys that's my video um this friday for my live just to let you guys know um we are going to be traveling so i will be doing a short live while we're in the car like i did a couple months ago um i'm not sure if it's going to be at 11 it just depends on where we are um and that's because of our cell reception so if we're in a place with bad reception it may be later i will try to put a note to let you guys know if it's going to be later i'm still going to shoot for 11 um, but it might be a little bit later, a little bit earlier, depending on how our timing goes. Okay. So, uh, thanks so much for watching guys. Um, if you liked the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, and if you're not subscribed and you'd like to, uh, hit the big red subscribe button either up here or down here. And like I said, my host code is going to be right here on the screen for you. Um, if you put in a $50 order, you will be getting a package of our rhinestone basic jewels. Um, when the new catalog comes out, you'll get some of the new ones. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Love you guys so, so, so much. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.